The party has released a statement sending its condolences to the family of 16-year-old Nathaniel Julius. Johannesburg, President Cyril Ramaphosa has weighed in on the unrest that's engulfed parts of El Dorado Park, saying his thoughts and prayers are with the family of Nathaniel Julius, who was killed allegedly by police this week. In a statement, Ramaphosa said the teenager has been deprived of a future and the community deserves better. Police Minister Biki Sell has visited the teenager's family on Friday afternoon amid calls for cool heads in the community. The Human Rights Commission in Gauteng has appealed to the police to exercise restraint and to use proportionate force when dealing with public protests. It's reacted to the killing of the 16-year-old who was shot and wounded near his home on Wednesday night. Police claim the boy was caught in the crossfire between officers and alleged gangsters. F demands officer allegedly behind the teen's death jailed without bail. The economic freedom fighters F is demanding the police officer who fired the shot that killed a teenager with Down syndrome in El Dorado Park be jailed without the prospect of bail. The party has released a statement sending its condolences to the family. Julius's family say police are lying and trying to cover up what they call a cold blooded murder. The F's Bayani Pambo said they want the police officer who pulled the trigger to be held personally accountable. The police officer must immediately be put to jail with no bail, and he must be criminally prosecuted. As the F, we will make sure that the deceased finds justice and not rest until his killers are in jail. We will not tolerate any report post investigations that seek to whitewash the actions of the police like the SANDF did with the case of Collins Cosa. Download the UNAP to your iOS or Android device 